Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video on SZ and Tester. SZ versus Tester or SZ versus Tester versus Automation or QA Automation or Manual Tester or Functional Tester or whatever it is. This is a post that I found today on LinkedIn and I'm really disappointed with this post. I found this post is totally irrelevant with respect to the comparison between SZ and the Tester, which I really don't understand why on what basis this comparison happened. I don't want to roast this particular, uh, I don't know which company it is, I really don't know. But uh, uh, with this, I thought of, um, when I saw this, I thought of preparing a video on this and just put your opinion, what exactly you think about, is it a right comparison? Put in the comment section, is it a right comparison between SZ and the tester? So let's start. Uh, SZ has the ability to test the application internally and externally is fine, okay. And uh, then saying the tester develops and execute test cases either manually or by automation. That's according to me, not not true. As it has the ability to test the application internally and externally, same thing can be done by tester also. Who is a stopping tester or a functional tester or a manual tester to test the application internally or externally like any backend call or any API call, databases, middleware. There are so many things tester also can do that. It's not true that, okay, they are always involved with manual or automation. Manual and automation is just a process of executing your test cases. Either I can do manually if I get time, I can if I know the things, if I know automation, I can do through automation also. So it's totally wrong a statement that it's only SZ can do that, only internal and external application testing. That's not true according to me. Then let's see the next point. SZ can develop an in-house test automation framework based on the requirement. Yes, that is the expectation from the SZ, no doubt about it. Meanwhile, tester is expected to run and maintain the framework. Somehow, I agree with this second point, but it's not true that, okay, a tester is an umbrella. Under this particular tester, we have SZ, we have QA, we have automation, manual, QA automation engineer, functional automation engineer, or whatever you call it. They all are end of the day tester. If the tester is having the proper testing mindset and the automation skills, they can even run and maintain the framework. Along with that, they can involve with in-house test automation framework also. That is absolutely fine. And there are companies, they don't have any specific core automation in-house framework. They are still as dead. They are talking about the tools, the technologies, they're maintaining the test cases, they are writing the automation framework and the automation test cases, converting the manual and automation test cases. So it's a mixed responsibility of for as dead as well as for a normal tester also. So that's a statement somewhere I agree, but somewhere I don't agree with that. Then can perform white box testing. Yes, that is the expectation, but why it can't it's saying that since testing might not have coding language, tester might not have the coding language, they are expected to execute black box testing. Again, that's not true. It's up to that particular tester, up to that per uh, you know that person, if he has the knowledge, if he understand the code, doesn't matter that what kind of position, as dead position or automation position, ultimately I'm a tester. If, we, if I know white box testing, how to do that? I really want to see their specific code, specific APIs, integrations, or RPC call or microservices calls are happening, I can easily do the testing over there as well. So it's not, again, I don't agree with this statement that it's only whole soul SZ responsibility like that. Then the SZ has a wide range of responsibility and compared to SZ testers have the fewer responsibility. That is again a very vague statement. I don't know why. SZ has wide range of responsibility. Perfect, fine. But compared to SJ tester having more responsibility, you they, you have to take care about your manual test cases, execution, publishing the report, sprint planning, planning, agile and everything you have to take care of it. Along with that, you have so many other bug life cycle, bug tracking, uh, the maintenance, the bug logs, everything that you have to do it. So on what basis we can say that SJ has a wide range of responsibility. What do you mean by responsibilities here? SJ responsibility is majorly for develop for automation. But it's not true that, okay, they cannot involve with other responsibilities or something like that. And same thing if the tester is having those mindset, having the skills and the responsibility and they take the ownership, they are more responsible person as compared to the SZ. In fact, this comparison itself is very vague. Testing is an umbrella. Tester is an umbrella. And under that tester is a high level template. Under that, we have different templates like SZ, automation, functional, performance, security, like that. But it's not true that, okay, a tester having the less responsibility or fewer responsibility as compared to SZ. Again, that's not true according to me. Then SZ actively involved in the design, development and the testing phase of the software. Okay. 
tests are involved in the mostly limited to stlc unfortunately st means software testing life cycle that's again a wrong statement we always you know uh, learn these things from the beginning itself as a fresher also in our books also in software engineering also in istqb also that tester should be involved from the beginning in the complete software development life cycle in the waterfall model from the beginning itself and the requirement analysis itself the tester should be involved and on what basis we are saying that tester involved is mostly only for stlc and sdet will come into the picture you know sdet term is just recently introduced around maybe six seven years back or five six years back before that we were calling the senior test engineer or test engineer or software test engineer like that or test lead or team lead team test lead or something like this then on what basis it's saying that involved in the design development and the testing phases of the software why who is stopping a tester to involved in a development testing phases of other soft or software or design discussions or any any kind of brainstorming that we are doing only as debts are allowed that's not a true statement that's totally wrong here then as debt has a deeper understanding of the requirement and the feature but the comparatively less compared to that of an as debt come on that's like such a wrong statement it's written over here tester is a more responsible person who is actually involved in each and every understanding of the requirement the feature the process the module functionality of the you know application in and out they are aware of it they are because they are writing the test cases they are checking the entire system they are doing a lot of regression a lot of system testing bug like cycle take, taking care of the production bugs and everything on what basis it is written that sdet has a deeper understanding of the requirement and the feature if i talk about the sdet the normal process that typically sdet people are doing in the company they are just focusing on the automation it means they have a very less knowledge about the understanding of the requirement the feature of the application they are not even involved most of the time in the discussions of those things right although their responsibility but still they are having this problem that okay no we are the sdet we are the automation guys we write the code we do the automation that's why we are not involved in that my job is just to convert the manual test cases into automation that anyone can do that but which test case i have to automate how to automate how to test the preparation of the test data the environment infrastructure and everything it's my responsibility but end of the day i am a tester if given a time uh, or let's say we don't have any time for writing the automation or execution for the automation and automation is not ready then sdet has to be involved in the functional testing also so that's totally wrong statement it has a deeper understanding of the requirement in the feature and the tester has less responsibility or dip requirement on a feature or something like this that's totally wrong statement according to me has high coding knowledge and might not have coding skill that's fine okay maybe a manual a functional tester who is having uh, who has not learn about the coding and the automation but that's fine we all have to uh, you know enhance our knowledge we have to learn we have to learn automation to make sure that okay we will get a good package good salary good i mean security and then everything is fine that's a different topic altogether to discuss about but high has high skill a uh, coding knowledge that's fine they might be having it but who is stopping a tester to have the high uh, or maybe coding skill or something like to improve their coding skills so that's not true guys according to me i really don't agree with this comparison as dead versus tester as dead is just a term introduced by companies like linkedin microsoft for us back the software development engineer in test ultimately end of the day they all are a tester now under this particular tester umbrella we have sdet we have qa automation functional performance engineering and then and the security uh, security testing uh, guys also but we cannot say that okay but uh, you don't have a testing mindset the common thing is the testing core skills and the testing mindset is important might be possible that okay sdet is just focusing on the tools and technology designing the framework writing the automation test cases but you cannot say that, okay a tester cannot do that okay so that's the comparison is totally vague according to me i'm really sorry just you know sharing the linkedin like this but uh, i really thought of uh, sharing it with and that's why i like put a comment over here also that's a totally wrong comparison and i was not able to write all the points but i thought of preparing a video and that's my opinion guys i'm not uh, you know roasting or uh, you know criticizing anyone here but according to me it's a totally wrong comparison so what do you think about it just write in the comment section do you really agree with that sdet versus tester is this the right comparison and what's your opinion who is tester who is an sdet and who is an automation engineer what do you think accordingly according to your experience what exactly you are doing in your company and what exactly you have seen in the previous companies as well okay just please put in the comment section feel free to write your opinion about it let's spread this knowledge let's spread this uh, video to others also so, so that other also will get to know what do you mean by sdet and the tester over here right thank you so much guys that's all for today 
I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. And with this note, God bless you all.